we get the big meat sticks up for our pal Chris Wilkinson coming in with Temple of Void. These guys are standing behind a big brick wall and they're starting to give me the creeps. to learn about this band and then we're going to listen to the song A Watery Internment. Internment. Yes. A Watery Internment. Uh, if that sounds like a fun plan to you, me and Chris are going to be hanging out here and we're going to listen to this song and we sure would like you to join us for the ride. So if you can, uh, if you got the taters, if you got the, the will and the fortitude to do it, stick around a while. Here we go. Temple of Void. They got 2,439 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Wretched Banquet. 195,000 plays. That's from this same record here. A watery internment is in the second slot with 131,000 plays. Then from this record here again, you got the, oh, I can't, I don't know that word. The charnel unearthing, the charnel unearthing, 102,000 plays. Then to a different record, you got death touch, 78,000 plays. And behind the eye, I don't know what they're going to be like. I really don't. I'm thinking death metal, then I'm kind of going, maybe they're more melodic kind of death metal than maybe they're melodic metal. Uh, let's look into the albums and see what these guys have released so far throughout their career. Looks like they're kind of a newer band. In 2014, they put out Of Terror and the Supernatural. I think the record that we're doing here is the 2017 Lords of Death. The World That Was come out in 2020. 2022, Summoning the Slayer. And in 2023, the first 10 years. So they probably put together some kind of compilation situation. Look into the related artists for this band. And this will take you down a rabbit hole of other bands to check out. So if you say, man, Temple of Void, they kicked my tits in, man. They really kicked them deep. And they've, it felt teddy time, but party time. Maybe these bands. These guys are great. Hooded Menace. Strigoi. I'm interested in checking some of that out at some point. Strigai. I don't know what this is. Chitlist. Chitl Chitl Graceless. Vastum. Or Vastum. Valenfire. Druid Lord. These guys are from somewhere else. Woad. Cadaver. We've done them. Crypts. Dungeon Serpent. And Black Anvil. So that is the related artist. Do I feel like I'm leaning off? I don't know why, guys, but I'm having this kind of... <clears throat> you know? It's not professional. It's not becoming of me. Look into the bio ever so quickly, and then we will get into it. And you have these five gentlemen here standing against a dark brick wall, probably somewhere in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in, in realms I've never traveled. And they're saying, Shane, Uns, you have turned down the wrong alley. We're going to need uh, your all everything in your pockets. And I say, guys, come on. I, I love your band. They say, oh, you, oh, you're one of our fans. Okay. Cave Dwellers, Temple of Void, finally returned from the inky abyss on their highly anticipated new album, Summoning the Slayer, the critically acclaimed Michigan-based quintet featuring, so they didn't have an accent. Alex on guitars, Don Durr. Did I miss one? Michigan-based quintet featuring Alex on guitar, Don Durr guitar, Mike Erdody vocals, Jason Pierce drums, and Brent Satterley bass. Hunkered down during the last two years, expanding upon their band, their brand of fusty, artful, brutish death doom. With in my eyes are just going to tits on me with equal parts process and imagination. Okay, Jesus. It's a long story, okay? I'm not even going to get into it. It's a long story. So let's do it now. Chris Wilkinson says, Would you like a watery internment? To me, that sounds sinister. Internment. A watery internment sounds like they're going to put you in some kind of a watery grave. 
This is the titty boom, titty tit. We go for it. How many times have I said tit in this video? Somebody count that. Jesus. Here we go. Nice and heavy. Sultry. Love that buzz saw and tune me. Very good at noted. Right in the pocket. Nothing good comes out of this when you're doing this sound. A watery internment. Got a bit of effect on that one. That is nice and heavy. Nice, frothy, thick and full. That vocal sitting nice on it. Those guitars are just... This whole song you get in the pit too. Man, the mix on this is great. That sounds ominous and eerie. Now you gotta make love to this for a minute. Let it marinate. I'm gonna fall victim to going into another tomb. He's given us the manual of how what he's gonna do in the watering in tournament.
Nice pickup. This makes me feel like I'm 19 again. Vocals are almost intelligible. Well, my heaven's sakes, what have we done here? Temple of Void. Oh, here's the charnel. The charnel unearthing. Nice acoustic -y little bit here. The channel on earth things coming tonight, it's coming tonight, it's a delight. I mean, that was tasty. What I was saying about his vocal is, um, if you were, if you would care, if I wasn't focused on everything that was going on in that song and I just paid attention to the vocal line, you could, he's, he's got one of those kinds of voices where, yes, he is growling, but you can also make out everything that he's saying in there, which is a great contrast if you can have it. What say you, most important part of my videos is where you get in the comments below and tell me all you know and love about this band. Temple of Void. It almost escaped me. I was gonna say Throne of Void and that wouldn't have made any sense. Temple of Void. I think what throws me off is I feel like there should be a the in there or something. Temple of the Void. But it's Temple of Void. We don't use fucking the word the in our worlds. Get down there, tell me all about it. Good, great, fantastic, Shane, I indeed, and now let me tell you, <clears throat> Temple of Void, I am a, indeed a huge fan of them. All-time favorite albums, all-time favorite songs. Have you ever seen these guys live, and who might they have played those shows with? Pretty tasty stuff, yes. Or you could say, not good, not great, Shane, it was some of that death metal stuff. They call it death metal, they say doom death metal. I throw it in one big pot and say, it's a guy growling at me, and I don't want to hear it, no more. Don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know. If you got a request, want to see it on this channel, it's simple and easy. Hit the links and put it in the comments, okay? There you go, my friend. There's your thumbs, Chris. There, you like them thumbs. Temple. Avoid.